Okay, so now uh, this is part three of a series of videos. We're going to go and uh, go in your terminal. I'm going to go CD, and that should take me to my user area. And if I look at what's in that user area, I should see, um, uh, and you're on a Mac or Unix, you'll see something like a bash profile. And if you're on Windows, you got to set your environment variables in Windows environment variables. You uh, just go down to your start button in the lower left and you type in environment variables and then it'll take you to a screen like this. And then you're going to set system variables and do new. And here's your path, so you'll edit that. And then you're going to add in a path variable which points to. And so here I'm going to show you what it looks like in a, um, in a, on, on a Unix based machine like a Mac. So I'm going to nano my bash profile and this only works on Unix and Macs. But here, here's my uh, export path. My path variable, I'm saying take whatever's in that variable and then append to it with that colon. This path, users, Todd McLeod, go, bin. And so I should, uh, you know, find out where the go program got installed and then I need to add a path variable that points to the bin folder in that area. So if I look at my computer and go got installed in users Todd McLeod go, so if I do an ls right here and I'm in users Todd McLeod and if I look there's a go folder, if I change into that go folder and then do an ls there's a bin folder in there and that uh, bin folder so path users Todd McLeod go bin I think that actually, let me just add one more tab here and go env, and we have go root. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. So you need to add to your path variable. All right, let me start over with all these path variable things. So you need a go path, which is pointing towards your go workspace. Okay, and that's called your go path. So environment variables are variables that tell your computer how to do stuff. So where do I find things related to Go, right? And then there's going to be certain variables associated with Go that Go needs to run. One of them is knowing where the Go, Go workspace is. And the Go workspace is located, you locate it by setting the Go path. The Go root is where is the program located, the, the code for this programming language and the standard library for the language and all that. It's located right there, user local go. So you need to have a, an environment variable set called go root. So if you were in Windows, you'd create new, and then you'd call it go root, and you would set the path to wherever the go program got installed. So on my computer, it's in user local go. And so if I went to CD user local, and then looked, there's go. And I could print working directory, I'm in user local, and then if I look uh, CD into Go and LS, you can see like here is everything that the language is made up of, the standard library, all that stuff is here. Okay? So you need the Go root pointing to where the thing that you installed is. And that should be set automatically when you download it and install it. You should have an environment variable called Go root, which is pointing towards where this thing you downloaded got installed. And it'll install in a default location, it'll automatically set your Go root. But that's what the root does. It just says this is where the standard library and the rest of the code for this programming language exists. So when you try to run Go code, it's like, I don't know how to do this. Wait a minute, these people over here at this location know how to do it. I just follow the Go root and it, it knows how to do it. So that's what the Go root does. The other one is your Go path. So for your go path, you have to decide where you're going to have a workspace. And you need to create that workspace for doing your go programming. My workspace is at users Todd McLeod go. That's where I put it. That's a folder. And then inside that folder, uh, inside that folder are three other folders, bin, package and source. You have to have those three folders there. So create a folder, call it whatever you want. I recommend calling it go or go workspace call it whatever you want, and then create another environment variable called go path that points to where that location is, users Todd McLeod go. That's what I've done here on a Mac, go path, users Todd McLeod go. That's my go workspace. Inside that folder, bin package and source folders. Okay, 
And then if you're on Windows, you're going to just come in here and say new variable and call it the go path. The name is the go path. And then the value is going to be the location of that folder that you created that also has the bin package and source folders in it. So that's what you do. That's what you do. So now that you have go path, you know, you also will want to set your path variable, and this is just a path variable that points to the bin folder that's inside that go folder. So that's what that's how you set up your environment variables. We'll continue this video in another this series in another video.